I'm going to be showing you today how to do use the orbital simulation. So if you're at SHS Galbraith and you're at the science simulation section, elliptical orbit simulation using processing. You're going to need to start with getting the code for this. You can either go down here and copy all of this in, or you can go to the Google Doc version. I'm going to go ahead and copy everything here. So select all, copy. And then you can go to a processing app if you have that on your computer or iPad or whatever, or you can go to the open processing site. So in open processing, you basically select all, paste it in. Now one more step that we need to include once we have this code is we need to go over to the settings over here and make sure we have processing.js selected. This is a newer version which is incompatible with the old version. This is the actual processing language. Once we have that, then we can run it. we have our celestial body that's going in an orbit. Now if we want to change anything, up at the top of this code is where all of those things are. The eccentricity is here, you can alter that. The trail length, how much of the area you're going to sweep out, basically how long the orbit is going to go before it places another one of those little dots. The delay for the simulation so it doesn't go so fast you can't see it. Planet size and the size of the sun, the focal point. So if I want to go into any of these, what I'll do is, let's say I want to have 20 in our length. Then I can run it again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. And notice now it has a much longer trail, 20 in fact. 